the lights go on on draft night and the commissioner comes out, you see the energy. And in a, a city like Kansas City, where the fans are so passionate, that's really special. At the NFL, I run our live events, so most notably the Super Bowl and the draft. I work on kind of master planning our events, so looking at the site and kind of how we're gonna make everything work together, whether it's the operations of the theater, the transportation plan, the concessions, the music, all these different pieces have to all live together on this site, right? So I kind of sit in the middle of all that. For me, it's the 33rd season uh, that I'm entering into the NFL. Most of my career, I have been at a club, so have been in the draft room on the flip side of this. On draft day, there are several of us on site from football operations. Uh, we participate working with prospects. We make in-venue uh, announcements of the draft selections and then also participate in the stage announcements of the draft selections. So I'm standing here in front of the draft theater. It takes a village of people to really put this together. We've had folks on the ground here in Kansas City for six weeks. We've got activations for kids. You can run the 40 you can get an autograph. So there's really something for everyone. Our fan experiences, we kind of think of it as an amusement park um, of football. So surrounding all of our major events, Super Bowl, Pro Bowl, here at Draft, uh, we like to create an activity for people to come out to, our fans to come out to, to engage with us. Um, you know, play football, throw a football, kick a football, but also engage with our sponsors as well. Play 60 and Play Football are our two youth initiatives here. Um, we have a field that you can see behind me where we have kids learning football skills and drills. Um, and then our Play 60 zone um, is a bunch of activities geared towards the youth, so family front, fun and friendly um, activities. Hopefully we're creating the next generation of fans and the next generation of athletes. The draft is really cool. It's a free event, right? So people can come down and hang out all day. It's a big football festival. And then we obviously also have the draft picks. It's kind of this really great moment of hope in our season. This is the beginning of something great for these guys um, and really an, an amazing opportunity. And also we have created an environment and an atmosphere that has so much energy and excitement and really engage the fans into the process. We work with a really awesome kind of core group of women here on the draft. My counterpart uh, at our production partner, C3 Presents, is a woman, Jennifer Marks. Um, and then there's a whole lot of other women at the NFL. The two heads of security for the event are also women. So we have a really strong core group of women and obviously supported by lots of different people across the league and across our partners here in Kansas City. Throughout my career, there really weren't women in positions forward facing or even at the higher ranks. And I think for me, I always you know, tell younger women, don't let your gender be an obstacle or a barrier. Use it to drive you. You can do anything. There's nothing that anyone, particularly in this league or any other league, uh, is doing that you can't see yourself in. You have to picture it, you have to be able to envision it, and you have to know what it takes to get there. And I think you know, if you take those steps, no one can stop you but you.